Welcome to my passion travel channel, a channel specializing in street food and travel, corn on the cob. Grilled or boiled and seasoned with spy corn on the cob is a delicious and simple dish to prepare. Here's a basic recipe, along with the ingredients you'll need. Ingredients. Fresh corn on the cob, as many as desired. Butter, softened salt and pepper, to taste optional. Lime wedges chili powder, grated cheese, or other toppings of your choice. Instructions. Select fresh corn. Choose ears of corn with bright green husks and kernels that look plump and juicy. Prepare the corn. Peel back the husks from the top of each ear, leaving them attached at the base. Remove the silk, the fine threads, from each ear of corn. Pull the husks back up over the corn. Soak the corn, optional. If you like, you can soak the prepared ears of corn in cold water for about 15, 30 minutes. Fried chicken, breaded and fried chicken pieces. Fried chicken is a classic comfort food enjoyed by many. Here's a simple recipe along with the ingredients you'll need. Ingredients. Four, six chicken pieces, such as drumsticks, thighs, wings, or breast cut into pieces. Two cups, all-purpose flour, one teaspoon salt, one teaspoon black pepper, one teaspoon paprika, one teaspoon garlic powder, one teaspoon onion powder, one teaspoon dried herbs, such as thyme, oregano, or rosemary, two eggs, one four cup milk, or buttermilk vegetable oil. For frying instructions, prepare the chicken. Rinse the chicken pieces under cold water and pat them dry with paper towels. Season the chicken pieces generously with salt and pepper. Prepare the dredging station. In a shallow dish, whisk together the eggs and milk or buttermilk to create an egg wash. In another shallow dish or bowl, mix together the flour, salt, black pepper, paprika, garlic powder, onion powder, and dried herbs to make the seasoned flour. Dredge the chicken. Dip each chicken piece into the seasoned flour, coating it evenly on all sides. Shake off any excess flour. Next, dip the floured chicken into the egg wash, ensuring it's fully coated. Finally, dredge the chicken once again in the seasoned flour, pressing gently to adhere the flour mixture. Heat the oil in a large skillet or deep fryer. Heat enough vegetable oil to submerge the chicken pieces. Heat the oil to 350, 300, 75 degree F, 175, 190 degree C. Fry the chicken. Carefully place the coated chicken pieces into the hot oil, being cautious not to overcrowd the pan. Fry in batches if necessary. Fry the chicken for about 12, 15 minutes turning occasionally, until the chicken is golden brown and cooked through. The internal temperature of the chicken should reach 165 degree F, 75 degree C. If using a meat thermometer, insert it into the thickest part of the chicken to ensure it's fully cooked. Drain and serve. Once the chicken is cooked, remove it from the oil and place it on a wire rack or paper towels to drain excess oil. Allow the chicken to rest for a few minutes before serving to let the juices redistribute. Serve the fried chicken hot alongside your favorite sides, such as mashed potatoes, coleslaw, cornbread, or biscuits, fruit salad, fresh fruit chopped and mixed with lime juice and sometimes chili powder. Fruit salad is a refreshing and versatile dish that's perfect for any occasion. Here's a simple recipe, along with some ingredient suggestions. Ingredients. Assorted fresh fruits. Choose a variety for color and flavor. Strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, blackberries, pineapple chunks, mango chunks, kiwi slices, grapes, red, green, or both. Oranges segments, bananas, 
sliced just before serving to prevent browning. Optional additional fruits. Apples, pears, peaches, nectarines, melon, etc. Fresh mint leaves for garnish. Optional. Instructions. Prepare the fruits. Wash all the fruits thoroughly under cold water. Cut larger fruits like pineapple, mango, and melon into bite-sized pieces. Remove stems, seeds, and pits as needed. If using bananas, slice them just before serving to prevent browning. Combine the fruits. In a large mixing bowl, combine all the prepared fruits. Mix gently to distribute the fruits evenly. Optional additions. You can add a touch of sweetness by drizzling some honey or agave syrup over the fruit salad. For a tangy flavor, squeeze fresh lime or lemon juice over the fruit salad. Add a sprinkle of finely chopped fresh mint leaves for a burst of freshness and color. Chill. Optional. If time allows, cover the bowl with plastic wrap and refrigerate the fruit salad for about 30 minutes to one hour before serving. Chilling enhances the flavors and makes the salad even more refreshing. Serve. Transfer the fruit salad to a serving dish or individual bowls. Garnish with fresh mint leaves if desired. Serve the fruit salad chilled as a refreshing dessert or side dish. Beignet. Deep fried donuts, sometimes filled with chocolate or jam. Beignets are a delightful treat, especially when freshly fried and dusted with powdered sugar. Here's a simple recipe to make traditional beignets at home. Ingredients. One cup lukewarm water, two and one quarter teaspoons, one packet. Active dry yeast, one two cup granulated sugar, one teaspoon salt, two large eggs, one cup evaporated milk, seven cups all-purpose flour, one four cup vegetable shortening or butter, softened vegetable oil for frying powdered sugar for dusting instructions. Activate the yeast. In a large mixing bowl, combine the lukewarm water and active dry yeast. Let it sit for about five minutes until the yeast is dissolved and starts to foam. Mix the dough. To the yeast mixture, add the granulated sugar, salt, eggs, and evaporated milk. Stir until well combined. Gradually add the flour, one cup at a time, mixing well after each addition. Once all the flour is incorporated, add the softened vegetable shortening or butter. Mix until a smooth dough forms. Knead the dough. Turn the dough out onto a lightly floured surface and knead it for about five, seven minutes until it becomes smooth and elastic. Add more flour as needed to prevent sticking. Let the dough rise. Place the dough in a greased bowl and cover it with a clean kitchen towel or plastic wrap. Let the dough rise in a warm, draft-free place for about one, two hours, or until it doubles in size. Roll and cut the beignets. After the dough has risen, punch it down and turn it out onto a lightly floured surface. Roll the dough out to about one four inch thickness. Grilled fish. Fresh fish grilled over charcoal and served with spicy sauces. Grilled fish is a delicious and healthy dish that's perfect for summer cookouts or any time you're craving a light and flavorful meal. Here's a simple recipe to grill fish. Ingredients. Fresh fish fillets, such as salmon, tilapia, trout, snapper, or any firm-fleshed fish. Olive oil or melted butter. Salt and pepper to taste lemon wedges for serving optional. Fresh herbs, such as parsley, dill, or thyme for garnish instructions. Prepare the grill. Preheat your grill to medium-high heat. Make sure the grill grates are clean and lightly oiled to prevent sticking. Prepare the fish. Pat the fish fillets dry with paper towels. Brush both sides of the fish with olive oil or melted butter to prevent sticking and add flavor. Season the fish generously with salt and pepper. 
or any other herbs and spices you like. Grill the fish. Place the fish fillets directly onto the preheated grill grates. Grill the fish for about three, four minutes per side, depending on the thickness of the fillets. Avoid moving the fish too much to prevent sticking and ensure nice grill marks. Flip the fish halfway through cooking using a spatula or tongs. The fish is done when it flakes easily with a fork and is opaque all the way through. If you're grilling whole fish, you can grill them for about five, seven minutes per side, depending on their size. Serve. Once the fish is cooked through, carefully remove it from the grill using a spatula or fish turner. Transfer the grilled fish to a serving platter. Squeeze fresh lemon juice over the fish for a bright and zesty flavor. Garnish with fresh herbs if desired. Serve the grilled fish hot alongside your favorite side dishes, such as grilled vegetables, rice, or a fresh salad.